Hello? Hello, Mark? Yes, yeah, speaking. Uh, my name is Dr. Resolution Office, Department of Revenue. Oh, thanks for calling back. Uh, it's okay. You're asking what the jurisdiction is on this liability? Well, I was asking for evidence to prove that uh, yeah, that there was jurisdiction over Mr. And I wasn't able to get a straight answer on that. Either they um, weren't qualified, didn't have the evidence, or wanted to just yell at me and hang up. Yeah, I don't know because it's an audit issue and that uh, file is in our East Valley office. Um, but there is my income associated with this return for this year. Yeah, I, I understand how you're coming about it as far as the, the, the numbers. Uh-huh. I wanted what I'm looking for is if there's any evidence proving the Constitution and laws of the state of Arizona actually apply in the first place. Um, well, the statutes require uh, people that make income while in the state of Arizona to file an Arizona return. Well, that would be circular. I'm asking for what evidence you have to show that the Constitution laws apply in the first place. That the I don't understand what you're asking me. That the Constitution laws apply. How could the Constitution laws not apply if there is a statute? How do the statutes become applicable just because someone's in Arizona? What evidence uh, no, do you have? It, no, that's it, not what the statute says. The statute I, is written by, by legislators. Yeah, I understand. By people. I, I, I get that. But what evidence is there, if any, to show that the Constitution and, 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 uh, and statutes apply uh, to Mr. just because he's physically located in Arizona? Um, there's plenty of court cases that have proven this. If you want specifics, write a letter. No, you do understand that those are opinions, and um, those are for issues of law. I'm asking about evidence, and I'm sure yeah, that there, none of the there, ones you're citing uh, mention Mr. C in any shape or form. It has nothing and, to do with evidence against Mr. And what you're telling me is your opinion, and those opinions haven't been upheld by, by courts. No, and have to my opinion. Why. No, I, I'm making a distinction between an issue of fact and an issue of law or an issue of opinion. You're, I'm asking for evidence the Constitution and laws apply, and you're telling me that some lawyers uh, said so. That, that's, that's an opinion. That's not answering what evidence there is to prove that they apply to Mr. They apply to Mr. based on the income that was reported to us. What evidence do you have, if any, to show that the Constitution of the state of Arizona applies to Mr. You know what? I've answered your question. No, you I'm haven't. I'm sorry that you. Yes, I have. I'm sorry that you disagree with it. If you'd like something more clear, write a letter. Write a letter. Yes. Is that 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 sounds like a, a <laughs> sounds more like an insult than anything. Uh, maybe I can speak to somebody uh, who uh, a little bit higher up on the food chain. You're. That's, I'm about as high as up in the food chain as you're going to get. Uh, and your, you're one of the problem resolution officers? Yes. Who do you answer to? The director. The director. How do I get an appointment with the director? You can call the secretary and ask for, for an appointment. Do you have a number for her or him? It's not a matter that I disagree. It, 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 it's I'm asking for evidence. You're giving me a circular logic type of response. Well, the law says that your what your position is the law is applicable because the law said so. That's right. right? It, well, which makes perfect sense to me. And you're telling me it's not applicable because the law says so. Hmm. How is that not? How is how is that justified? Well, let me give you an anyways, example. Mark, Mark, I've given you everything I, I could I could do to offer assistance in this issue. Let me. So you believe that 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 it, uh, saying the law applies because the law says it applies. That makes sense to you. That that's not a that, that doesn't appear to well, be a logical but, fallacy to you. No. Let's see. If you're driving down the street and the speed limit says 35, you can do whatever you want. No, that's not the Is same that not thing. Is that not a law? No, that's Is not that the not same a law? thing. That's not the same it's thing, not? sir. No, it's a law. No. Let now, if I say the law doesn't apply because the law doesn't apply, does does that sound more circular to you? Uh, that sounds circular to me. Okay, so when you say the law applies because the law says it applies, that doesn't sound circular, though? Uh, it, it sounds circular, but it's applicable. It sounds circular. It is circular. It's not evidence. It's a logical fallacy. Uh, to say that the law applies because the law says so is, is, uh, is a logical fallacy. That's not evidence.
Well, he he has the opportunity to prove that it doesn't apply. He hasn't no. he hasn't chosen to do that. Well, what we're doing is we're calling to see if there's evidence that it does apply, and the best you can give me is a logical fallacy. No, the best I can give you is what the law says, that if you own income in Arizona, you're required to file a return. What evidence Mark, do you have that Mark, the Constitution... I, got, I, have, I actually have a lot of work to do. So do I, and I've I can, taken I the time to... Your question. I you can't, can't answer your question any more than I've already answered it. Okay, so, all right, so all you have is a logical fallacy. Okay, I'll, I'll get in touch with the Secretary. Okay. Bye. Thank you for your call. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye-bye.